I'm Mike Brennan, one of the engineering supervisors at McNaughton McKay Electric Company. I cover the safety and components solutions for McNaughton McKay Electric Company. Today we're going to discuss two different topics. First, we're going to talk about GuardLink, and second, we're going to talk about the much anticipated brand new 450L light curve. GuardLink is a technology that allows you to create a multi drop network for safety systems. Many of our customers have talked about the challenges associated with wiring safety relays. Additionally, they're looking to simplify and have a higher level of safety performance in those individual solutions. GuardLink delivers on that. Additionally, GuardLink allows you to create a multi-drop network using standard four, five, and eight pin tool cords, utilizing special drops based on what technologies are wired to them. Additionally, GuardLink allows you to connect over ethernet to standard PLCs for diagnostics of each of the individual pieces within your safety system. Typical applications include things like safety gates, e-stops, solenoid blocking gate switch, light curtains, area scanners, and the like. GuardLink allows you to create a multi-drop system and achieve up to performance level E, SIL 3. GuardLink includes taps. Those standard taps allow you to use four, five, and eight pin cords. Additionally, you have the ability within each device to be able to lock, unlock, or reset if you have a fault on that specific device. The components included on the GuardLink system start with the GuardLink safety relay. The GuardLink safety relay allows you to be able to drop 32 devices on each GuardLink chain. There are two GuardLink chains for each of the devices. You must pay special attention to how much power is used on each GuardLink chain. Additionally, you have the ability to cascade if you need additional contacts to our safety relay products. GuardLink has an optical backplane. That optical backplane allows you to be able to connect to the standard PLC. The connection is done through an Ethernet IP interface. That Ethernet IP interface allows you to have up to six GuardLink relays in series. That way you can have multiple output devices based on your needs for your system. GuardLink also integrates with Studio 5000 and has its own individual add-on profile. The add-on profile allows you to have tags for each of the individual GuardLink relays. These tags allow you to understand and know the status of each of the individual taps and also allow you to lock, unlock, and fault reset each of the taps in the GuardLink system. The taps are available in four different part numbers. Those part numbers are based on the device that you're dropping to. Rockwell Automation offers devices with five or eight pin cords and also devices that are electromechanical or solid state. Therefore, we can use standard, inexpensive tool cords in five or eight pin configurations and drop directly to those devices. You'll notice on the GuardLink tap that there is a green large dot. That green large dot, we'll show you later in a demo, allows you to have remote enunciation of that individual device. Additionally, if there's a fault on that device, you'll see a red flashing light on that individual tap. Here's another slide on the tap, and what you'll see is the individual part schema. It's very simple to select. You choose solid state or electromechanical, five or eight pin. Additionally, we have mounting clips for those devices. So if you're using 8020 rail, you can mount the clips and plug the GuardLink tap directly into those. At the end of the chain, you must have a terminator and again, like we said, you can have up to 32 taps within an individual GuardLink drop. Typical use cases of GuardLink include multiple devices and usually one or two safety zones in your application. If you have solenoid locking gates, you can lock and unlock directly from your standard PLC. Here's a GuardLink demonstration similar to what we showed in the presentation. As you'll see, we have the GuardLink safety relay. This GuardLink safety relay is set up with one GuardLink drop, and there are three individual taps, meaning three devices off of that individual drop. You can see we have tap number one, tap number two, and tap number three with the Terminator. The three devices that are included in the demonstration are an e-stop, a standard gate, and a solenoid locking gate, which will unlock with the standard PLC. As you can see, the first tap is on an individual gate, so we'll open that gate switch, and you can see the GuardLink tap changes to red. We know that that device was actuated. 
In Studio 5000, that individual tap bit would change from one to zero, so we would know that that individual tap or that individual gate was opened or closed. Additionally, there's a guard link chain on each of the taps. That tells you that there's been a demand on the safety system somewhere in that guard link chain. Let's close the door on the gate. The relay is set up for automatic reset, so therefore the guard link chain goes back to its safe condition. You see green lights and green chains on each of the taps. That tells us everything is good. Now I want to unlock a solenoid locked gate. Let's do that quickly. And you can see I issued a command to the tap. That was the third tap through the standard PLC. And I was able, I'm able to now open and close that individual gate. I can then now lock that gate from the standard PLC and you'll see that the chain turns to the safe state. Very simple wiring, very little configuration, can be used with standard PLCs and very low cost because of standard cord sets, standard devices, and standard applications. Next, we'll talk about the 450L light curtain from Rockwell Automation. This is a very unique light curtain in the sense that the individual light stick is now a transceiver. In the past, when you bought light curtains, you had to buy a transmitter and a receiver. Also, typically, they were sold in pairs. This presents challenges for delivery, stocking, inventory of spares, and situations where you just need one of the two because something has been broken. Maybe it was hit by a forklift, maybe something happened or the glass was cracked on the light curtain, and you just need one. So, how is this different? This light stick individually is a transceiver. It is capable of being an emitter or a receiver. You can purchase two of the same identical transceivers, as well as something we'll talk about in a minute, we'll call these plugins or personality modules to create your individual systems. In the past, you would have had to buy a pair. Now today, you buy two individual light sticks and personality modules that plug in. So, when we look at an individual light curtain, it's available in two different styles. It's available in what we'll call the basic version, or 450LB, or the enhanced version, which is 450LE. In the presentation, you'll see there are two different colors. There's a slightly gray color and a slightly pink color. The slightly gray color are features that are included in the entire set. The slightly pink cover are just specific to the enhanced. A couple of the features to note we'll talk a little bit more about is the ability to do muting, blanking, and cascading in the enhanced version, and additionally integrated laser alignment. One of the other things that's unique about this light curtain is there is a very specific optical interface that you can attach a cable to and using our connected components workbench software, diagnose any issues with the individual light curtain. So as we discussed, the light curtain is available in two different styles, the 450LB or basic version, the 450LE. The enhanced gives you the ability to do muting, blanking, and cascading. Additionally, there's a longer range associated with the enhanced version over the basic unit. There's individual plugins like we talked about. These are what give the light stick its personality. The plugins are available in five pin or eight pin and available based on your need. If you are just doing a simple auto reset solution, very simple. But if you need EDM monitoring or you need blanking, muting, or cascading, there are different plugins that you'll need to purchase. Included in the 450LE is integrated laser alignment. To activate integrated laser alignment, you'll see a finger icon. The finger icon is the same on each device. So what you'll do is you'll press that button or that icon and it will shoot a laser out across. You can then push the same finger icon on the corresponding other light stick, and that will allow you to have a fan of laser on each side, making it very easy to align the light sticks. Additionally, the light sticks are available in many different lengths. They're available from 6 inches up to 76 inches in 150 millimeter increments. They're available in these individual sizes in both the basic and the enhanced version. Remember, to get a complete solution, you'll have to purchase two light sticks and two different plug-in modules. If you need cascading, you must choose the enhanced version. And when you get the enhanced version, there'll be a plug-in slot available on the bottom and on the top. 
Your standard plug-in modules will apply for the bottom, but there's a special cascading plug-in module that will be plugged into the top of those individual units. As you can see, the 450L light curtain is a very unique solution to a, a problem that you probably didn't know you had associated with light curtains. Very easy to purchase, very easy to replace, very easy to wire based on your needs, and very easy to select. So here's the 450L light curtain in action. As you'll see, these are two basic light curtains as well as two five pin plug-ins for automatic reset. One of the things that's a little unique is we can now use a T and power both the emitter and the receiver with one cable back to the control system. Today we have this wired back to our CR30, a programmable safety relay from Rockwell Automation. So what you'll see is we have two transceivers, two individual light sticks, and a plug-in for emitter and receiver. This is finger protection. You can see the control system responds as you'd expect it to. We have the ability to use that optical cable for any diagnostics required and it would individually snap onto the light curtain. We can tell which beams were broken, any faults that could potentially can occur, or with the enhanced version, configure muting, blanking, and cascading. For more information or videos like this, please visit our website, download our app, or check out our YouTube channel.